Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Gabby and today, today I have the biggest haul that I ever done. We have in here 25 perfumes. I know, I know I went a little bit crazy and um, we have some new releases. We have some old perfumes that are very popular, some perfumes that nobody talks about as well. And this time, this time I can say that all of these, I mean, everything that I got in here, I really, really like. So this video, we're gonna have just 12 perfumes because I have to split this haul if you don't wanna be here forever. And even though they're just 12, you know me, I talk a lot. I like to tell you about the notes and the lasting part of the projection and all of that. So grab yourself a snack, a drink, something because this is gonna be a very long video. So. Before we start, if you like this video, don't forget to give the big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and let's jump in. We're gonna start this haul with the perfumes that were just released uh, this year in 2021. And the first one is a cheapy Pink Sugar Berry Blast from Aqualina. This, it was like very, very inexpensive. I do have the original Pink Sugar. I used to wear this one a lot, and I mean a lot. Uh, at one point it was my signature scent, I would say. I'm not using this anymore, but I just give it, I don't know, for nostalgic reasons. Uh, I just need this in my collection. I don't know why, but I just feel that I need pink sugar and it's also very inexpensive, so why not? And when I saw that they are coming with Berry Blast, I was like, okay, okay, I need to try that. This was like 15 pounds, something like that. It's like 100 ml and obviously I had to get it. So notes for Aqualina Pink Sugar Berry Blast. We have opening. Blueberry, blackberry, orange, and bergamot. In the middle, we have cotton candy, wild strawberry, cherry, and cork. I have no idea what that is. And in the right down, we have vanilla, caramel, tonka bean, moss, and cedar. This, let's spray this one. Okay, so I actually wore this one. And I have to tell you, in the opening, you're still getting, you're definitely getting the pink sugar DNA. And you're getting exactly like the name suggests, a berry blast but then in the dry down is getting more and more similar to the original pink sugar and you're still getting the berries but it's more like a berry syrup do you need this not really if you have the original aqualina pink sugar they're very similar i have to say they're very similar it's exactly as sweet as the original and um, it still has a great lasting power but like for a cheap it has a great lasting power but it smells yeah it smells quite artificial, it doesn't smell um, refined or anything like that. But if you like very, very sweet perfumes, why not? It's basically, it's Aqualina with a touch of berries. Um, I was expecting to be a little bit more different, but it is not, it's pretty the same. It's pretty much the same scent, just like a berry touch. I do like it and um, I wish I could find a 30 ml bottle because definitely I don't need this 100 ml bottle. But I would say I like it, like I like it. If you like the original, you're definitely gonna like this one. Um yeah, this one I would say it's not like it's not as sweet as the original, but it's still very, very, very sweet. Yeah, you decide which one you like. Um if you like, if you love pink sugar, the original, stick with this one. If you wanna change things a little bit and you're just curious, try this one out. It's very inexpensive. But it doesn't smell like wow, like super high quality no come on this was like super inexpensive but for the price the lasting power is good the siage is good projection is good so can't really complain so that was pink sugar berry plus from aqualina the next one that we have in here and one that i was so excited to try from mugler we have the newest angel and that's angel iced star this when i saw the notes i was like yes like yes i need that bottle in my collection this is the bottle, finally, it's like the one that stands, you don't have to lay it down. Uh, and it's very similar to the 2020 version of Eau Croisier. Like, come on, that's super similar. But the perfume is different. Let's talk about the notes. We have Angel Ice Star, Coconut, Pineapple, Vanilla, Patchouli and Praline. This one, when I first tested this one, I was like, this is very, very similar to the Eau Croisier. But after that, I tested them side by side and I realized they're not that similar. I would say Eau Croisier, it's, um, 
stronger on the patchouli. All of the angel flankers have patchouli, okay? It's definitely not as strong as it used to be. But I would say the newest one, I Star, has the least patchouli from all of my angels that I have. It's very, it's like a fruit ball, like a fruity cocktail with that angel DNA and the patchouli is barely there. It's just in the background, just in the dry down. You can smell a little bit more of patchouli, but it's not strong. It's not in your face. It's nothing um, that you would hate. You're definitely, definitely getting the pineapple from the first moment. The coconut, I would not say um, it's a santan lotion coconut or it's a very sweet coconut. No, it's more like a coconut water. I really like it. Like, I really like it. Do you need both of them? I mean, all of them, because I have also the 2019 version of this. Not really sure. I would say 2019 is the mango one. This one is like fruity it still has a touch of mango some coconut even though it doesn't have coconut and this one is your pineapple you're definitely getting the coconut it's like now it's getting sweeter at first it's like it's that pineapple that is very fresh and bright but now that it starts to dry down the coconut is getting um sweeter and more in, more intense i do really like this one like i do really like if you like Angel Eau de Toilette, the newest version. If you like Eau Closier 2019 or 2020, you are definitely gonna like this one. It's a fruity version. It's so good. I really like it. I do really, really like it. So, Angel, uh, what's the name? I Star, yes, I do really like this one. And I think you guys, you should go out and try this one out because it's, it's good. Like, it's good, good, good. Not sure if it's my favorite, Angel Flanker, but I do really like it. So, Angel I Star. The next one that we have in here, again, brand new release, La Vie Belle Soleil Crystal from Lancome. This, I actually got a sample of this and I really like the sample. And now that I have the full bottle, I'm not that sure anymore, I have to say. Bottle, you already know, it's beautiful. Everyone is talking about this bottle and it is really beautiful. But the scent is good, but I don't know why I loved it. I loved the scent when I first tasted the sample, but now I'm not that in love anymore. So let's talk about the notes. We have opening, mandarin, orange, pink pepper, and bergamot. Middle, we have ylang ylang, iris, orange blossom, and jasmine. And the dry down, we have coconut, vanilla, and patchouli. La Vie Belle Soleil Crystal. Let's spray this one here. So, opening, you're definitely getting the bergamot is something fresh in the opening, okay? And then you're getting this type of like vanilla coconut candle. I know it sounds weird, but it smells like a vanilla candle with some bergamot and some coconut in there. When it starts to dry down, this thing is getting very sweet, okay? It's getting very sweet. The coconut in this, it's a it's quite artificial. It's a, an artificial coconut and you're getting some ylang ylang and the overall picture is just a very sweet coconutty vanilla candle. That's what I'm getting. It's appropriate for the summertime, like 100% and not necessarily for the beach. I would say it's maybe a little bit too sweet. It's very strong. Not sure if this one is an eau de toilette or, or eau de parfum. I think it's eau de parfum, but it's very strong. Like, it's it's a strong scent. And very sweet, but my only complaint is it's quite artificial. Like, I like it, but it's a little bit too artificial. I know it, it's just me because I got a little bit crazy with niche perfumes, and usually niche are more natural, and they, they don't really smell synthetic. This one smells quite synthetic. People are comparing this one to La Nuit Trezor Nude from Lancome. I would say, yes, they, sh they share the coconut note, but that different. I would say this one, it's more well blended. It's, I don't know, you can wear this one like everywhere. It's not necessarily a summertime, a vacation type of scent. This one, to be honest, I, wear, I would wear this one on a holiday. This one, I would just wear like every day, spring, summer, maybe fall, not necessarily for the winter because it's not that strong. But this, yeah, this is more your like vacation type of scent. I do like it. 
I do like it. It has a little bit of a suntan lotion vibe, but just slightly, like slightly. It's nice. It's a nice one. Um, I wish the opening was there longer because that bergamot, that freshness from the bergamot, it's beautiful. I really like that. The dry down, it's a little bit too sweet and artificial. I don't mind sweet perfumes, you know me. I love gourmand perfumes, but in this, it's a little bit too much. I like it. I'm going to keep it for now. I'm going to see how I feel about this one and I'm going to wear it, I don't know, when I'm going on a holiday, if I'm going on a holiday. Um, but it's a nice one, but I think you should test this one first. And if you're looking for a coconut and you're um, in between nude and crystal, I would say go nude. Go nude. I like this one way better than the Laviable version. So yeah, it's a nice one. Um, it's a nice one. Laviable Soleil Crystal. The next one and the newest release in 2021 from Shine Blue, it's Talula Camellia. This one, this one was actually sent to me, so I'm not gonna lie, I'm not gonna tell you, oh, I paid for this, no, this one was sent to me, and I said, yeah, why not, let's try it, and I don't think this one is even on Fragrantica, uh, you can find a note on their website, Shine Blue is like a niche company, in, I think it's British niche company, and it's pretty affordable, I mean, the 50 mil box is like 50 pounds, which is not bad at all for niche so this one has notes opening we have bluebell in the middle we have gardenia and lily and the dry down we have whitey and wood wood as in woody notes like not wood a wood okay so this one when i first sprayed this one i was like eh, i can't really smell anything to be honest but the dry down is the best part if you're looking for a white tea scent, okay, this is good. Like, I do really like this one. This, in the summertime, in the heat, if you want something refreshing, this is like white tea and some floral notes. It's soft, sweet, but not very sweet. But it has a sweetness, okay? Very delicate, very feminine, and very refreshing without being citrusy or aquatic or anything like that. I really like this one, like this. Honestly, this in the heat is going to be amazing. It has a decent icy power. It has a decent sillage, especially for like a summer type of scent. It's a light scent. Usually they're not that strong. So it's just average. It's just normal. But it's a very beautiful, clean, sweet tea. Um, Slightly, slightly floral. I really like it. I do really like it. Like I said, at first I wasn't crazy about it, but I wore this one once when it was like pretty warm outside and this one is actually very refreshing and it's a very nice scent. So, Talula Camellia. Is it Talula Camellia? Talula Camellia. Talula. I cannot talk today. Talula's Camellia from Shine Blue. I really like this one. Let's move on to something that was released in 2020 and I was really interested in and then people were saying that the last import is terrible so I said no thank you but I found it for a very good price so I couldn't say no. Dolce & Cabana Light Blue Love is Love. I've never tested the last one, the 2021 and to be honest I'm not really interested but this, the notes, spoke to me. Love is Love has opening lemon, apple, red berries, middle raspberry ice cream and jasmine and the dry down we have whipped cream cedar musk and amber this let's put this one in here this if you compare it to light blue intense because i don't have the original light blue i don't like the original light blue this is more citrusy but like lemony but it's, it's like lemon peel but in something sweet like it's getting sweeter once this one starts to dry down it's getting sweeter from that raspberry and it's getting very creamy i would not say it smells like an ice cream or like whipped cream or it smells like a dessert but it's very creamy uh, sweet still citrusy still refreshing and that raspberry is not very very strong but it's there it's like raspberry whipped cream something like that with lots of citrus in it I really like it. I have to say, I really like it. Uh, is the last in power crap? Yes, it's terrible. It's horrible. After like half an hour, you can't smell this one. But for the price that I got this one for, 
I can't complain. To be honest, I can't complain. I love, you know, I love light blue intense and I just wanted something different and this one is not, it doesn't have that cleaning product thing vibe type of, no, it's not that. It's like beautiful lemon, zesty lemon with some raspberry and then it's getting creamier and I really like it. I do really like it. I wish, I wish the lasting power was at least decent, but it, it's like horrible. But the scent is good. It's not gourmand. Don't think gourmand if you see raspberry whipped cream. It's not gourmand. But it's creamy and sweet and it's very nice. So light blue, love is love. I actually really like this one. Um, even though, like I said, lasting power, no. The next one that we have in here is another summer appropriate fragrance. From Mina Ricci, we have Sean Dexter, I think. This Becky uh, hold this one and I didn't even let her finish and I ordered a bottle and then she said that she's not the biggest fan of the dry down after I placed my order so yeah next time I should just like watch the entire video before I order something so this is the bottle I really like the bottle to be honest and um, it has like a glittery effect something it is very nice so notes we have Raspberry, ginger, lemon, pink pepper in the opening, middle, sea notes, rose, jasmine, magnolia, dry down, caramel, vanilla, musk, and ambergris. Let's spray this one here. This one, I really like the opening. It's very, it's a very strange, 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 strange and weird opening because it's sweet. You're getting the caramel. Maybe some, I'm not sure if I'm getting ginger, to be honest. But you're getting something very sweet and like almost gourmand, but then you're getting some aquatic notes. But somehow it works. I don't know how, but it works. I do really like, it's different. It's like very different. Not sure if you can find this one in stores because I'm pretty sure it's discontinued. And I found my, I found my bottle for like, I don't know. 16 pounds something ridiculous it's a 15 ml bottle so i couldn't say no now it's getting even sweeter like now you're getting that caramel like the middle of this i would say is the best part it's so different it's like aquatic and fresh but sweet in the same time like you can you can definitely tell that it's like a aquatic part and then a gourmand part they don't mix together they're like side by side it's so weird but I really, really like it, but in the trade down. Uh, Becky said the same thing. I think she said that she's getting like a pencil shaving type of scent. I can see why. Like I'm getting that in the dry down. I'm not huge. I'm not like the biggest fan of the dry down, but I don't mind this. Like I really don't mind this because the opening and the dry down, they're good, good. And the dry down is not something that I dislike. It's just not, it's just something that I'm not crazy about. But I do like it. Like I do like, if you want to just change things a little bit, um, it's not something that people would hate. Uh, it's just different. It's just different, but not in a weird way. So, um, what's the name? Why I forget the names today? Sean Dexta from Mina Ricci. I do like it, but I'm not crazy of um, the dry down. I'm not crazy about that. The next one that we have in here is a scent that I'm not going to talk that much about because everyone knows the, the perfume, everyone knows the scent, and everyone has it or had it before. Flower Bomb from Victor and Rolf. This, if you can believe, is the first time when I have Flower Bomb. I got just a 30 ml bottle because I don't need more than that. For the longest time, I thought, I'm just destroying this box. Um, I thought that Flower Bomb is like almost the same as La Via Belle and uh, they're not. They're in the same family, definitely, but they're not the same. They're not dupes. Before our last lockdown, because here in UK we had three, yeah, um, I walked past the fragrance corner and they were spraying Flower Bomb and I was like, oh my God, that smells amazing. And I said, okay, after lockdown, I'm going to buy a bottle. I got just a 30 ml. I, I do really like it. I have to say I do really like it and um, yeah yeah it's flower bomb should I tell you the notes of, uh, okay let's tell you the notes um tea bergamot osmanthus opening middle we have orchid jasmine rose freesia african orange flower and the dry down patchouli mask and vanilla 
it's basically a very floral sweet perfume like not very floral a very sweet floral perfume and it has also a tea vibe because obviously it has tea in the opening but it's very sweet and everyone knows this perfume um yeah people love it some people hate it because it got so popular but it's good i mean it's good it's super good um great lasting power great sillage i'm surprised after all of these years the price is still up like usually after a couple of years and um, the price drops a little bit with flower bomb no like they keep their prices victor and Rod keep their prices up all the time like with this it's almost impossible to find it on a on on sale that's why i got just a 30 ml bottle and i waited that long because i was hoping to find it on sale but i couldn't so it's a nice one it's a good one come on it's a good one everyone knows how this one smells so i'm gonna move on flower bomb from victor and Rolf. Another scent that I wanted for the longest time and I actually tried this one I think two years ago or something like that and I wasn't impressed and I don't understand how Mongeria Intense Oh my god, I love this one. It was a blind buy because before I didn't like it but two years like that was two years ago and I told myself I'm gonna like it. I know I'm gonna like it. I know what what was wrong with me before but i know i'm gonna like it so i love it i don't like it let's talk about the notes mongerla intense we have lavender mandarin orange bergamot middle tahiti vanilla madagascar vanilla irish jasmine rose dry down kumarin 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 patchouli licorice benzoin sandalwood and musk look at the bottle just like just look at the bottle like the color of the juice and everything is ah oh. It's so beautiful. If you like heaven, if you like the original, okay, as much as I do, you're gonna love this one. You are gonna love this one. I would say try first the original and then try this one out. This might be a little bit too much for you. It's sweeter than the original and it's more thick and dense and it has more vanilla and I'm, def I'm getting uh, licorice. I'm not sure if other people are getting that, but I'm definitely getting licorice. But it's so good. Like, it's so... <sighs> like, if Monger La, the original, you can wear that one like spring, summer. Yeah, you can wear that one in summer. This is more your fall and winter or nighttime or... It definitely gives the original DNA, okay? The DNA is there. But it's just like... The intense version is the intense. It's darker. It's ah, oh, it's so good. It's so good. Like I really like this one. Again, if you love Mongerla, try this one out. If you never tested Mongerla, uh, first of all, what are you waiting for? Go and test Mongerla, and then like test them side by side and decide which one you like more. But this, this is my favorite. This is my favorite. So yeah, Mongerla Intense from Gerla. Love it. Amazing. Love the bottle. Love the juice. Love everything about this one. Mongerla Intense. Another scent from Gerla and one more appropriate for the summertime. We have, this one was released last year, I think. Coconut Fizz from the Aqua Allegoria line. I have Tizura and I love that one. I love the bottles. And this one has very interesting notes. So, coconut fizz has opening. Coconut nectar, bergamot, middle, we have water fruit and freesia, and in the dry down we have tonka bean and sandalwood. So, where should I spray this? I don't have anything here. Look at that spray, like, I really like it. Opening, it's amazing. Love the opening. It's like coconut water. It's not super sweet, it's like a slightly fruity not necessarily citrusy like sweet coconut but not super sweet nothing scratchy refreshing opening it's amazing amazing the dry down is getting sweeter and is getting that suntan lotion type of thing that i just dropped the cap and um, that all of the perfumes like summer perfumes have it have in them like Soleil Blanc from Tom Ford, and um, that's so many, that's so many. God, Bronze Goddess, God, 
God, how is how is that called? From Estee Lauder, bronze goddess, bronze goddess. That one is well, like that type of vibe. But this one is more coconut and it's not that intense as that Santan lotion because I'm not crazy about Santan lotion perfumes. This one is good. Like this one is good, especially the opening. The opening is so good. It's so good. Oh my god, I love, love, love the opening. Try them. It's okay. It's just okay. But it's just me because I don't love Santan lotion perfumes. But it's good. Lasting power is nah. A sillage is nah. But like that's a problem with all of the Aqua Allegoria perfumes. But I don't mind. I really don't mind because they're good. They smell um, like good quality, and I love the bottle. So. Aqua Allegoria Coconut Fizz from Gerla. Okay, three more perfumes. We have in here, the next one, a perfume that nobody, and I mean nobody, talks about this scent. And I'm talking about Shanghai Tang Spring Jasmine. This I actually had just like a, a mini, a 9 ml bottle. And um, by the way, if anyone wants this one and anyone likes jasmine perfumes, I can send this one to you just uh, you need to be in the UK and just like tell me in the comments, um, I don't know, Spring Jasmine. Just type in there, Spring Jasmine, but make sure you're from UK because you, we can't send perfumes abroad um, from here. And yeah, I'm going to send this one to you. Um, and well, I'm going to pick and in one week someone from the comments. Yeah, it's not a giveaway, but if someone wants, because I have the full bottle and this is full, like this is full. Anyway, let's talk about the scent. This, I have to tell you, is the heaviest bottle that I ever had or like hold it in my hands. This is so heavy, like this is a weapon, okay? This is extremely, extremely he heavy. I'm not sure if it's like, it was a problem with my bottle or something because this is 50, no, 60 ml. And this is how it came. But like when I sprayed it for the first time, it like, you could you, you could tell that it wasn't sprayed before so i'm not really sure like what's the deal with this because uh, this is not food i mean i i don't mind i don't care because i pay like so little for this uh, but it's so good like if you like jasmine try this one let's talk about the notes we have opening bamboo middle jasmine and flowers and write down olibanum i have no idea this This in the opening, it's slightly green and jasmine. Like, this is a jasmine scent, okay? And then the dry down is getting sweeter. It's a very realistic, natural jasmine. I would say, if you like jasmine, uh, jasmine's marzipan from Lancome, try this one. They're not dupes by any means. This one is way, way sweeter than this. But they have, both of them have a very realistic jasmine note i do really like this one like this it's basically a a true jasmine a green jasmine very realistic refreshing i do really like it i do really like it i like the bottle like i said like this it's so heavy this you, you cannot travel with this thing because it's so 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 heavy the bottle is beautiful i really like it i have to say i really like it and it has a decent lasting power and sillage and uh, yeah, Shanghai Tang, just spring jasmine. And uh, yeah, I do like it. If you like jasmine, check this one out. I, f I found this one for uh, no, ridiculous prices for like 100 pounds. No, no, no. I, I found mine for like 30 something. Check, check more, more websites uh, because you can find this one for like 30, 40 pounds. And 40 pounds, definitely it's worth it and you should try it. So Shanghai Tang, jasmine, not jasmine, spring jasmine. Okay. Last two perfumes, they're both niche, they're both very expensive niche, and I found them for a steal, like, I'm good, I'm good with that, I'm proud of me. First we have from Zerja from the Casa Morati line Dolce Amalfi. I got a partial bottle from someone and it was like a steal, like I paid so little for this bottle. And it's the 100ml bottle. It's been used, so it has like 70, 60 ml left, but I pay so little that I really don't mind. I really don't care. It came with the box, full presentation. Um, yeah, just, yeah. I really like this packaging. It's so extra. I know some people might hate the packaging. I really like it. It's very, very extra. And yeah, I do like extra things. So, Dolce Amalfi. 
notes opening queens cardamom apple and saffron middle we have cloves tolu balsam and incense then we have in the dreadnought vanilla tonka bean amber cedar and musk this i featured this one let's put this one here where in a video where i was testing samples perfume samples oh god this is so this is so good like let me just play like look at the mist this is so good this smells like a bubble gum but it's not that tuberose bubble gum it's not like floral it's more like sweet vanilla slightly fruity bubble gum you need to try this you need to try this because i'm not sure if i would pay the full price for like a bubble gum scent but, but for how little i paid for this like i don't mind like, i don't mind it's so good it's a good month it's a bubble gum scent and um, that's everything i have to say really it has gray lasting power gray sillage i really like it i do i can still smell it in the air i do really like it does it smell niche i'm not sure i'm not really sure because niche it's usually something more complex and natural and this one smells like a bubble gum but i like it i like it it's weird it's weird that i was willing to pay the full price for a bubble gum scent but i didn't i didn't because i found this one again for a steal um, you should definitely sample this one first but if you like not necessarily gourmands but like super sweet perfumes for spring and summer check this one out i really like it i do really like it so dolce amalfi from zerjov and the last perfume that we have in here granada from memo paris this, uh, this i actually got from a website so it wasn't a partial bottle but it was on sale so I couldn't miss this one again i featured this perfume in another video where i was where i was testing some samples and i really like this so granada from memo paris notes we have african orange flower african orange flower that's orange blossom uh grenadine i have no idea what i wrote here anyway bergamot in the middle we have jasmine heliotrope and the right down we have vanilla tonka bean musk and woodsy notes this one is I'm surprised this one doesn't have um, honey because what I'm getting, I'm getting in the opening this orange blossom with some bergamot. It's not citrusy, but it's not as sweet as the dry down because for me, the dry down of this is like a honeyed orange blossom. I really, really like this. If you like orange blossom, definitely go and check this one out not a safe blind buy because it's expensive again don't blind buy niche perfumes i did i did and sometimes no with designer perfumes if you don't like them you can sell it like very easy because people know more people know about designers but with niche it's harder to sell it okay and it's very expensive so don't blind buy this but if you like orange blossom check this one out like this this is so good this is so good this is this is what i'm getting like a very thick almost like the texture of the honey orange blossom love it love 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 this one this in the spring amazing 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 love the bottle love the presentation love everything about memo paris this is my second bottle from them and i want to try more i want to try more from from this brand because i really like them and yeah last scent that we have in this massive haul granada from memo paris and that was it for today guys that was it please let me know in the comments down below if you ever tested any of these perfumes if you have them if you don't if you like them if you don't and stay tuned for the second part because in the second part we're going to talk about 13 perfumes yes more perfumes are coming and yeah that was it for today thank you so much for watching if you like this video don't forget to give it a big thumbs up subscribe to my channel and like always i'm gonna see you in my next one Bye bye